difficult, perhaps, for the new generation since World War II, accustomed to the myriad lights of their main streets, to realize that once the bright glow was dimmed, that in order to conserve coal, electricity, and manpower, while the final mighty effort was being made for total victory, it became necessary to turn the lights down low. The nation already had become attuned to self-imposed darkness through extensive blackout drills, which began before the war and continued through the grim days when civil defense became vital to the home front, to teach civilians how to protect themselves and their families in event of enemy attack. Americans went from temporary blackout to the brownout to save an estimated two million tons of coal annually. Next, the midnight curfew, which went into effect February 26, 1945. The government order concerned principally nightclubs, sports arenas, theaters, saloons, bars, dance halls, roadhouses. But cooperation came from every source, from all who would show their patriotism while war communiques told of American troops outside Cologne, superforts bombing Tokyo, MacArthur's men fighting east of Manila, and war plant production at an all-time peak. Air raid drills, dim outs, curfew. It was a time for serious observance of the regulations which had been set up just in case Americans should be exposed to the terror from the sky so familiar to populations overseas. Equally important was conserving materials upon which the war effort depended. To live for a while in darkness was preferred by all who fell under the shadow of a great war of survival. For soon it was all over. The lights went on again. was the occasion for easing controls, and Americans rejoiced in the bright glow of a nation which could see lights once more. It was an hour for celebration, like New Year's Eve it was on the Great White Way. You younger people ask mother and dad how it was, whether on Broadway or the corner of Maine and Montgomery, USA. The same grand feeling. Lady Liberty really glowed. The world was being lifted from darkness, and here for the war-weary was the brightest signal.